Hey guys, so today we're going to check and see if we can see why this thing won't start. So we're going to do a compression check on it and then we're going to check and see if it is the rings. If it's the rings or if it's um, the val like valves, the head, or a gasket or something. There's a way to check if you don't have a leak down tester, if you don't know how to read a, a leak down tester. We're going to show you a quick little way to see if... So now we're going to check that. Check the. We're going to turn it over, and you want to push the gas and open that passage when doing it. I like to stop. I do that three times. Now we check 72 pounds, which is not good. So now we take this and we you take a syringe just like this with a little bit of motor oil, okay? 1040 millimeter. Put about 10 cc's or so. And I, I would pump at least five into it, you know? At least five, right down in the cylinder. Like that, put it right in there. You gotta think that there's some in the line still, you know, so. Right there. So now you put your cylinder or your tester back on. Okay. Alright. Put the head back on here. On. We're zeroed out. Okay, I don't know if you guys see that, but it is what it is, so, okay? So now we're going to do it the same way, three times, throttle on. Check it. 97 pounds. That tells us that our rings are shot on this machine. Because that oil is acting like a seal for those rings. To give it a higher compression. So, so the fix on this is we got to take the head. Jugs out. Put new piston rings. Possibly pistons. I don't like putting just rings in a machine. So, yeah, that's how you test. That's a for sure self safe, fail safe way. 98 pounds, 98.5 pounds. So, sometimes you can also, let me grab that set up here. Sometimes you can also um, put oil down the cylinder. 
put the spark plug back in there and it'll start. Um, we can actually try it really quick if you want. Let's try it. What the hell, right? Not gonna lose nothing if we don't. Sorry. So, see again, 90, 98.5. Sometimes it'll start, but this has got two cylinders. The yellow cylinder, I'm assuming, is shot too. So it probably won't start, but we'll try it, okay? Sorry for the camera angle, guys. I've actually rebuilt machines before. And the rings were just not wanting to seat right. And I put a little oil down the cylinder. And they'll start right up. And then they're fine. It gives it that seal that it needs right off the rip. Alright, let's try it. Here we go. Oh, it wants to. That's the most it's done. And that's it. And then it burns that oil out of there. And it won't do no more. So... That is the way to test to see. So I hope I helped some of you guys. But that chaps me. This thing's got, well, fifteen ninety eight miles. So, 98 hours on this machine, and low compression, and it's not a valve adjustment, it's cylinder rings, piston rings, so, alright guys, well, that's the check-in for the day, um, Things are clearing out. We got rid of the Case 4 4 tractor. Um, we got rid of the generator. Um, let's see what else. We got that Polaris in. Um, we got a four wheeler coming in tomorrow. Um, we got, we just got so much stuff going on. It's not even funny. Craziness. I mean, I got all these bikes here that are being done. The mail is taking forever to get my shifter here so I can get this guy his machine back. I'm waiting on parts for a month and a half on a Brute 4 750 that I'm rebuilding that's out back. Got a Banshee that's a high dollar build that I'm still waiting on stuff. Um, it's, it's crazy. And USPS is jokes right now. They're taking forever. So I'll try this again. Sometimes we let them sit.
it wants to go. It, but here in a little bit, as soon as that oil goes away, it won't even try it. It'll be, it'll turn. So, but all right, guys. Well, I hope you learned something, and uh, we'll check back in here soon. All right.